Welcome everyone. Today we are going to work on how to create uh, watercolors with um, our reference photo from Photoshop. So what we're going to do today is we're going to open up Photoshop and then we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Open and then I'm going to go to my libraries, pictures and look for images to work from. So that's why I label my folder. And this is my original. Took this photo myself. So here it loads. Excellent. You can go right over here to the magnifying glass. Left click on that and then right click and then you can hit fit on screen. All right. So then we have that to the right size. And the next step, what we're going to do is I'm going to hit control J on my keyboard. It's going to write up down here, right down here is going to open up a duplicate layer. And then I'm going to click on this eye right here, and that's going to hide that duplicate layer. So I won't be able to see it. And just to make sure everything is where it should be, if you're looking on this handout, it's uh, step number two. Uh, we are going to go to image menu, and then we're going to go to image size. And then we're going to just make sure everything's clicked here. Yes. Uh, F, everything looks great and then we're moving on uh, step three we already did that that was the duplication of layer and if you want to step four is crop which this is always nice uh, you can hit this crop button here and then if you look right up here you can tell it how you want to crop it so if we want to work um, 9 by 12 and draw this crop right here and this would be 9 by 12 but if I want to change the orientation So it's more of a landscape. I can move this right here and then pull this out. And, and that is my 9 by 12. So let's say hit cancel. Let's say if we wanted to do this standard 8 and a half by 11, like a regular piece of paper. Now we got eight and a half by eleven. Let's move that where you want to. And now it's the size of a regular drawing paper. So I'm not going to crop. Um, moving on. This is a big one right here. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust some things. So uh, filters. Go to filters, and what we're going to do is go to artistic. And let's try uh, the poster's edge. It's going to pull this up here, and I want to uh, back up a little bit so I see a little bit more of the picture. And we're going to bring it over here. This is kind of my main focus. And then I'm just going to play around here and see if I can change things. We can uh, see what I like better. And maybe I'll back up a little bit more, see what it looks like. I kind of like that. Hit OK. If I want, I can also uh, go to Filter, and then I can change it again. Um, accent Edges. We'll back it up here. No, don't like that. Let's go to Ink Outline. Don't like that. Let's cancel that. Well, we'll go to filter, artistic. We'll do dry brush. A little different, but we'll keep it. So here we go. And you can continue to change and change and change until you see something you like. And then what we can do, uh, why don't we adjust the color? So we'll go to Image, and then we'll go to Adjustments. We'll go to Levels. And then you can grab this black here, left-click on that, and you can change it. Make it darker. Oh, we don't like that. Why don't we grab the mid-tone, brighten that up a little bit. Maybe the highlight will brighten that up a little bit more. Well, I don't know if I like that. We'll put it down a bit. Okay, go to image, 
adjust and why don't we try the hue saturation and we'll go here there you go I know that's kind of crazy colors but I like that so we're gonna hit OK and there we are so um, step six says uh, we can actually skip step, step six and step seven actually we just did step seven and then we're gonna go down to step eight and if you want to you can use the blur tool which is gonna be over here this you left click on that and you can go to blur and we can go in and actually blur up some details um, I usually don't do that but if you want to what I would do is I'd go to your magnifying glass and I would zoom in to where you want to adjust things and then I'd grab your blur tool that's my burn tool uh, where'd your blur tool go? right there sorry my fault why don't we change that a bit why don't we change the strength we can blur out some details and make them a little more fuzzier what have you but uh, just experiment with that we also have um, a smudge tool if you want to we can smudge things um, I usually don't go this detailed in my work um, and if you don't like any of those you just hit Control alt z again and again again and again and again and again until you get back to where you want to go or you can go up here uh, edit and undo state change or step backward if you have any questions please let me know um, at the end here if you want to you can unclick that click on that you can see what it was in the beginning and see how you changed it and then oh there we go I'm gonna take that and get rid of the background keep that and I'm gonna hit uh, file save as and as a Photoshop um, I'm gonna hit save actually I want to put it as a JPEG and then hit save and 12 maximum okay and there you go Save. actually I do not want to change the original so I'll hit cancel and no so I want to keep the original and then I'm gonna go print it out and work from it from there if you guys have any questions please let me know